Third time's charm. So, uh, China, coronavirus. Um, I recently got the flu shot, and it kicked my butt. Uh, there's reason to be worried, and that reason is China is not trying to hide the severity of this situation. They are not hiding how scary this, they are scared of this. Most news medias in China would try to say, well, it's something to worry about, or boom. Not this time. Why is that alarming? Normally under a dictatorship, they would try to hide the evidence or, oh, it's nothing big. Not this time. The entire province of Wuhan is closed off. It is quarantined. Five million Chinese have left the area and have potentially spread the coronavirus to other areas. This happened at a time during the great Chinese New Year. Now, under the CCP, it's very encouraged that everybody on the Chinese New Year goes out, celebrates, and helps bring up the domestic co economy in China. <coughs> <coughs> so, going back to what I'm going to say. This is scary for a lot of reasons. China would not want to make people panic or make a big deal, but they want to add, this is where they're worried, and they're asking openly for the U.S.'s help. Let that sink in. We know the South Morning China Star would never say something like that, and they would carry on their national pride of self-dependence. Not this time. How bad is this coronavirus? And what are we dealing with? You have a foreign country. For black words, they're not the best when it comes to quality treatment of their people. Now they're dead last. As far as champions for human rights. For human rights violation, well, they come first. They're right on top, right next to Saudi Arabia. And that's saying something. With that, this virus has spread very fast. What makes it scary is it has a two-week incubation period with no signs and symptoms. <laughs> Standard is to wait two weeks in certain things of a pandemic. Hmm. Ebola is probably, I believe, is 21 days. But this, this is not normal. I'm not sure how severe it is compared to the avian bird flu. Because China's not giving any correct, they're not giving the right information on numbers when it comes to people dead, people infected, right? They have said that they had to create emergency hospitals, three of them. That should be reason enough for alarm. They're not hiding the fact that said, yes, we have to make emergency hospitals. That, and they said three of them. And they may even make more emergency hospitals. If that is not something that should scare you, I don't know what is. But it is alarming. And it's not coming from Fox or CNN's rapist Don Lemon. I don't care. The dude's creepy as hell. <clears throat> you know, this is coming from the Chinese media. Not American... Uh, not the American media. The Chinese media. That says something. What's scary is I think more people are going to die because there's not enough post-treatment as well as enough supplies or areas such as clean air and fresh water for actual treatment. Chinese sanitation procedures are not the best. They really ain't. There's some dirtiness over there due to lack of motivation, mainly because they're under the control of the CCP and 
I would say it's not clean over there. And people are going to say, oh, you're wrong. And I'm like, okay. But look how bad this, this infection goes. I don't really have much to say other than bird flu was pretty bad. This coronavirus may be worse. It's reminiscent of the Spanish flu after World War I. By the way, people say 1917. There's a lot of World War I movies. Not a lot of them, I don't think, really glorify World War I. And I say that because if you look at what happened and you actually read World War I, there's an old movie out there, too, with John Wayne. He comes back from World War I all messed up, and he's just trying to survive. When you read up on World War I, you'll find out, oh, wow, uh, that literally was hell because they were coming from the traditional war of, you know, people standing in line in columns and firing weapons. Well, World War One, it wasn't like that. It was people firing automatic weapons and bombs and gas. And you want to talk about effed up stuff. World War One, it was the automation of war. And when it got automated, things got scary. Now, I can go on that for hours. But back to my topic at hand. This coronavirus... Like I said, after World War One, there was the Spanish flu. And this coronavirus is now in the 2020s. End of 2019, right? 2020. What's scary is, is the Spanish flu also happened around the world. How much of this mirrors of the Spanish influenza is a very interesting situation. Is it an act of God? Some people like an act of nature. China's just too sick. And the CCP's policies have come to roost. And now, not only are they suffering from it, we will now suffer from their uh, policies as well. Especially when it comes to taking care of their people. And this coronavirus... It's dangerous. So, I'll just say this. You get a chance, do your research. This video was not made for kids, as I've stated earlier. But this situation with the coronavirus in China is kind of a very interesting situation. Not sure how bad it's going to get. Tried to contact uh, Korean X to see what's going on. We're not on speaking terms. Well, I don't know. I got tired. It's a long story short. It's personal issues between me and her. But um, I'm not sure how bad it is in Singapore. And I've tried to read up on the news events. And I don't think anyone's going to say anything. But I will say this, though. Keep yourself clean. Keep your eyes out. The fact that it's coming from a Chinese news outlet, you know, a communist news outlet, should be ringing red alarms. The fact that it's not coming from Fox News, right, which has a lot of facts, or CNN's We Tell the Truth, they really don't. I watch the BBC. Uh, probably watch some local weather channels because they always have some sort of like beautiful woman on there. Eh, probably Asian. I don't know. I'm not trying to be offensive to you women out there. Sorry. It's just, yeah. Obviously, they have decent weathermen. But, you know, it's whatever. Laws of attraction are very different between men and women. And that's a whole can of worms. I'm not opening it. And I'm entitled to my own. preference and you cannot force me otherwise that is my right that is what I am that's what I like I'm not going to tell people what my preferences are 
because they don't need to know. So, but back to it, as I said, coronavirus, dangerous, very dangerous. Chinese news media doesn't really get this honest in how scary it is. And the fact that they had to build three hospitals, Wuhan, like 18 million people are quarantined. And they have said that they're going to have to build more hospitals and they may need the U.S.'s help. Or they're, they're asking the U.S. for help. Wow. Oh, that's not a good sign. So, that's all I have to say on that. <laughs>